Hello, everybody. A very good morning. I am Biswajit, and I am your moderator for today. Uh, I am a senior technical consultant at Trend Micro, and I welcome you to this uh, webinar uh, on dark side and how we can go ahead and combat dark side. On that note, I welcome you all and welcome all panelists and participants. So we have two very interesting speakers. We have two very interesting speakers today. Sorry. Sorry about that. So yes, so we have two very interesting speakers today and let me introduce to you uh, Mars Cheng and Steven. So Mars is, is a threat researcher from TX1 Networks and he's blending a background and experience in both ICS and SCADA and enterprise cybersecurity systems. Mars has directly contributed to more than 10 CV IDs and have had work published in three science citation index in applied cryptography journals. And that's really awesome, Mars. Before joining TX1, Mars was a security engineer at the Taiwan National Center for Cybersecurity Technology. And he is a frequent speaker and trainer at several international cybersecurity events such as Black Hat, HitBee, HitCon, etc. On that note, I would like to welcome Mars to this panel. Hello, Mars, how are you doing today? Hello, Ruby. It's good. Happy to see you guys. Thank you. So we have, we also have Steven with us, who is a marketing director for TX1 Networks. He has also been a, a director for the global consumer business for Trend Micro and has been a consultant with software development and quality management. He has done his higher studies out of Australia and he also has written a book on software design and quality management. Thank you, Stephen, for joining us. Good morning to you too. Yeah, good morning, please. Yeah, thank you for introduction. Okay, um, it's my pleasure to have this opportunity to share our view. Thank you. Thank you. So what's the agenda? So we would discuss with Mars on the on dark side uh, and, and a little bit on the dark side analysis part, we will discuss with Stephen on the ICS threat landscape, the colonial pipeline ransomware attack, etc. On that note, uh, moving forward, I'll start with you, Mars. Uh, could you tell us the background knowledge about the dark side campaign, which has recently become notorious internationally? How do they perform at these attacks and provide the services from different APT groups? And what do you think is the situation from a global victimization perspective? Okay, sure. Um, please allow me to introduce some um, background knowledge and about the dark side. And before I introduce the dark side is compact, um, I want to highlight something. And we know that um, there are three part M3 um, watershed about ISIS attacks. Before 2017, most of attacks in focus are focused on the um, um, IC, um, the, the, um, nuclear power plant, water, wastewater, or those critical infrastructure. But however, and, and those um, attack are very, very ISIS specific. But after 2017, most attack folks more and more attack and focus on uh, ransom, use ransomware, because ransomware attacks performed on critical uh, critical manufacturing or um, semiconductor or other sites focus on the manufacturing and more um, revenue company and re revenue um, enterprise. And we also we also believe um, 2019 is, is a watershed um, also because before um, 2019, the ransomware usually just want to destroy your disk, or just want to ransom your data only, just have fun. Attack just have fun. But after 2019, attack already becomes a service, and we call this a ransomware as a service. And this service provides most many attacks as a service and perform they can deliver kinds of ransomware 
and they can use those ransomware, try to compromise and try to attack their victims' uh, machines. So, and also not only encrypt, they also want to steal the data from the um, victims' enterprise, victims' intranet, and they can put those, those stealing data on the dark net, dark web, and they can do red second time ransom and make a huge impact on the industrial uh, uh, enterprise site. And also, please allow me to introduce the dark site, this campaign is very traditional um, ransomware in 2019. And about this campaign, um, takes one and two micro intelligence discovered uh, this ransomware uh, as early as August 2020. Um, at this time, we, we also find many information about that. And we also find those these ransomware really want to ransom and there were, um, a lot of uh, ransom, you know, um, ransom payments, like a million dollars. So this ransomware is beginning um, at August 2020, it's very early time. And also uh, about, this, uh, about this campaign, they also, you, um, we will say um, dark side is very traditional um, target ransomware because the whole ecosystem will be, uh, are deployed in the um, leak side in the um, dark web. So it's the union to, um, on the, the URL UI extensions. And we, we saw um, also for this campaign, they are very uh, criteria for the target selection. Also, they will avoid um, non CRS countries like Russia or Ukraine. And they also try to avoid the healthcare industry, education, public sectors, or non other non profit um, organizations. And also, uh, they will try to avoid the funeral service. But uh, Basically, those, this campaign of automation is totally focused on financial campaign, financial purpose. They just want to make money. They just want, want to make money. And in this campaign, they also use uh, many tools, including commercial tools or um, open source tools. Um, some of uh, many kinds of tools I use it. Some of them is uh, for a remote, a remote access, and some of them for uh, transmit um, data, um, like Mega, like 7-Zip because they want to steal the data from the um, victim site. And some of them uh, try to um, perform the credential dumping, like uh, maybe CAS or um, the commercial tool, Corpus Strike. So also they mainly focus on active directory. So they also use the active directory tool, mm -hmm. try to find something. And also we will in, um, deep, uh, dive into those um, techniques later. And also back to this highlight, and we want to know the entire timeline about the dark sites. And in the November 2020, the actor Duxit announced the dark site ransomware service online and they have all their own stadium service. And after that, uh, after that, um, dark site, they want to do something about in um, January 2021, they released the free decryptor um, online in January 2021 and also they, they deliver a dark site version two uh, of February 2021. And after that, we, we know the, um, the list that reason we're also in the May, beginning of May, recent attack on the US uh, Colonial Pipeline. And I, I believe Stephen will um, give her in deep analysis app um, later. So not only focus on this sector, because when we talk about the ransomware service, we will say those service, and there are many, many IPT companies, IPT group will in, involve in this service. So there are, there are, there are very different groups, for, ex uh, for example, and according to some um, external intelligence, I'm sure it's, um, you're, um, there are two groups, example, and um, UNC 2628, and this group also, um, Usually, this group also will um, do the attack. They will do deploy the ransomware in two or three days. It's very quickly behavior. And also, some evidence show uh, this group um, it also have um, problems with other ransomware services like uh, Networker, uh, like Revealed. Um, they, they, they will co work with, with those groups. So, this is very combined and they will um, combine many, many services to be one group. They have many up material can be used. And also, second one, the UNC 2659. Also, usually this company will use, um, um, perform horror attack life cycle under 10 days. And they would like to, they are very like to use those uh, 
uh, exploit, like uh, focus on VPN credential or VPN products, like focus on the signing world. And also they will use the newest CV number, um, like um, the CVE. Um, also, fortunately, um, the CV already be patched by the vendor, by the vendor too. So we know those ransomware service is very popular in the darknet, in, on the, uh, is underground. So we need to take, a, take, a, take care of some um, suggestion for links. And also, we will um, go through this how dark side and generally um, dark side come common attack path. How? Because we know this is a risk, but those groups how to use dark side to prevent a tower attack. And first, step one, attack will use like exploit or phishing email and try to um, compromise and to into the uh, intranet with this um, enterprise. So they will use some. Um, some um, explore some public facing application like attack uh, multi p service like attack web service VPN service, and after that they will into the um, enterprise zones, and they will try to do the credential access. They will um, collect some material, some credential, use a mimicast or grab FF those two of they need to find a credential and they to try to come by some machine in the in the in the intranet, and after that. The final purpose is they want to find the Active Directory server, Active Directory controller, because we know if we control, if attack control Active Directory, and they can deploy the ransomware, is very easy in one kind. And they, they use the 285 when they scan to the scan whole network, and they can find um, like which one is uh, Active Directory server, and they can try to compromise that. After that, they will um for the later movement, they will keep the persistent, they will keep the privilege. So they will use um PS execute list tool and the list tool to um dropping an execution on those other um components for the ransomware. And they will try to command and control. They will try to command and control because they, they use this um, command control service like Cobra Strike like um, IMS remote I mean curious to make the, um, to download somewhere and to command the over compromise the machine in the, in the intranet, the make the uh, private, uh, maximum the, um, privilege and persistence in the, for the attack. And also in step six, they will try to um, and defense a relation, some, some AV, by AV detection or uh, detection mechanism, and they will um, shut down or terminate some process and service with those um, PC hunter or power tools. And then they will drop the malware and so we'll drop the ransomware and ransom your computer. But before ransom list, they will try to data, uh, they will try to dis uh, steal your data from the for PC and with the seven zip putty the mega client those those two you will so you will see before they will try to um, steal your data and encrypt your piece encrypt your data and you cannot use the uh, the, the service anymore so they will also in, in general purpose they will make a huge impact on on this your your intranet because the operator it, it will sometimes will um connect to the IT site the ISIS devices will connect to ISIS site. IT side and I, if IT cannot be used, the operator cannot uh, operate the SCADA machine or the HMI machine, and they, they usually cannot um, operate the, the uh, few devices too. So also many attack will um, use this, and also will try to use the uh, little logon, um, this, this um, vulnerability to attack controller. So it's very easy, but it, it, we need to take uh, we need to take care. So also. How about the victims? Because we, we will focus on usually uh, this, this loss group perform loss attack, but how many victims in the in, in our um, limited knowledge? So occurring external service, external site intelligence, and from the this um, ransomware um, website, um, this ransomware this ransomware website and deliver this um, victims information. They will share those uh, information. On the website, and they will ransom and they will payment if you not paid it, and they will disclosure your debt. So, according to this space, uh, we 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 search um those victims on the um dark side web um before this website be um taken down, and you will find in these those victims is is across many many um sectors, including manufacturing, automatic, or um business, oil and gas, IT service, healthcare, legal service. Many sectors are, are, are covered it because so it's very unspecific attack, but only 
only nine to one victims in the whole APD compound? We don't think so. So uh, we, we perform the in deep analysis. So according um, to Michael and, and TX1 string intelligence, we, we perform the, the in deep analysis. And we find one thing is um, actually, we find the victims um, basically over 650 victims in the world wild. And if we base on the country in the left side, um, almost 85% um, folks on the United States. And the uh, second prize is France, Britain, uh, Canada, Philippines, Germany. So, so those folks can country. But if we uh, turn to the, uh, the sectors, we know um, almost 90% is not specific. So like IT service, like, uh, um, um, like a legal service or a commercial service, come a business service, but some of the attacks and also focus on manufacturing and food, telecommunication or um, healthcare and uh, retail uh, industry. So also if those um, industries are attacked and those make, make maybe impossible to make the um, ICS side cannot be work and cannot be operated anymore. So also usually, you know, um, ICS environment are uh, be affected by ransomware and also the financial loss will be very big. So how about this campaign already make how many money? So as according to Samsung um, and, and intelligence, we know um, this ransomware, this campaign already um, um, make the 90, at least 90 million um, ransom payment from 47 victims. So including colonial pipelines and since um, August, 2020. So we know this is a very huge number, uh, but so also it's not focused on an individual company, but totally it's very huge payment for the ransomware group. And also we know this, this, this ransomware just begin, uh, or just be said and be find at August um, 2020. So um, most companies should have um, capability try to detect this ransomware and try to avoid, try to prevent this um, the, 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 the ransomware attack. So I, I believe um, um, this should be attack, should be take care of these things. So after this, um, I, I believe uh, Stephen or um, Mr. Well um, should give us more in, in deep analysis on this part. Yeah, thanks. Thanks a lot, Mars. Uh, it was very helpful and very insightful. Uh, and it, it was really great that it comes from a threat researcher. Thanks a lot. Uh, so I would like to move over to Stephen. Uh, so now, Stephen, can you tell us uh, what is happening in the OT uh, IT landscape uh, from a uh, OT ICS cybersecurity? And do we see any dramatic change that has happened in the last decade? Yeah, yeah thank you, Bish. Okay. Um, before we jump in the, uh, the colonial pipeline attack, I think it's very necessary to mention about the OT ICS cybersecurity landscape overview. Okay, we do see the dramatic change in the last decade. Um, you cannot imagine that um, last year, um, especially last decade, happened a lot. Uh, not just attack change, also because the entire world is doing the uh, digital transformation, industrial 4.0. Now, so another the uh, driving force. Uh, that increase the OT ICS cybersecurity uh, in different sector. Okay, so um, give you the um, some kind of uh, timeline overview. Okay, as I mentioned, the IT OT convergence is a driving force. Um, let's talk, talk, uh, take a look at our timeline. Uh, year two, uh, 2010, pretty famous Starnet uh, attack. I believe most of people. Uh, heard that or aware that that kind of attack usually is the sponsored by uh, government or what sometimes we call it a state sponsor. That kind of attack is specifically decided and also required a significant skill set. Okay, so from 2010 to 2017, we were uh, considered this the ICS specialized attack. Okay. Um, that kind of attack is going to require not just technique, also a lot of the planning, okay. But in 2017, it's a turning point because the ransomware, that's for example, WannaCry. WannaCry is leveraging the SMB vulnerability. Um, we also call it uh, eternal booth. 
Internal proof that kind of vulnerability allow the attacker using the ransomware propagate inside the network very fast. So 2017, we see the warm publication. But how come this warm publication suffered most is manufacturer and healthcare? Okay, so that also another trigger from the hacker point of view. Hey, something we can do in here. We do see the dramatic change here. Uh, and from 2019 to 2020 until now, we consider is target ransom. Okay, you can you can hear the ransomware popping around around the world. Specific target in the OT vertical has become a serious problem. Okay, so IT OT convergence. What is that? Normally, when we think about the OT, we we'll consider ah oh, that's the old technology. No, no, it's not. Okay, we we'll call it the new OT. The new OT actually is using a lot of IT technology. For example, internet, container, virtualization, private 5G, edge computing, industrial IoT. So they will use those technology, a new protocol, new skill set to increase the productivity. But how about the hacker? Actually, um, if you adopt more technology from IT side, which means you also inherent on the IT vulnerability as well. So we call the collateral threat. So if for, for the hacker, they feel happy, they can use the same attack tool, okay? They don't need to spend the money or invest more about the OT specific attack. They can use the IT attack tool, be able to penetrate the OT environment without any issue, okay? So that's the IT OT convergence. Sometimes, it will also bring the trouble, okay. So um, the typical attack, okay, uh, if we consider ICS attack, actually we consider only two, uh, two type of attack. The, one, the first one is cyber criminal. Cyber criminal usually the use in the IAP technique, uh, feature mail, or using the remote desktop, uh, VPN vulnerability, penetrate to the IT environment or OT env uh, the corporate environment. After that, they will do the lateral movement, sit and wait, try to escalate their credential. Uh, uh, in recent year, the most popular attack is the compromise the AD domain server, which means they can propagate their ransomware very quick, very fast. Typical example like a nozzle hydro, like a Goga, uh, uh, also the Ecans last year, Honda, uh, under the Ecans attack. Uh, recent attack is the dark side. When we, it's specific target the critical infrastructure. Later on, we'll talk about this case. Uh, the second example we call the uh, on cyber espionage. Cyber espionage are also using the similar technique to penetrate the corporate network first, but they also will leverage social engineering skill. Also try to bribery some worker or insider so they can use the uh, USB or notebook which means already contains some malware or malicious code. So they be able to allow them to go deeper on uh, attack. So it's simple like this, like this, you know, Starnet, also brand energy in, in the, uh, 2015, 16, and Triton also pretty famous. Uh, that's two typical uh, attack scenario. Okay. So what's going on in, in, in the uh, OT environment, especially in last year? Trump Michael uh, uh, conducted a survey, conducted research. Last year, we published the uh, annual uh, cybersecurity report. It indicated that the OT under ransomware attack is very significant. Okay, you can see the, uh, the number shown in here is the how many times has been attacked. The first one is the government, second one is the banking. The, if you see this, the, the third one, the fourth one, they are OT, manufacturer and healthcare. And food and beverage and oil and gas also under significant attack. So last year, we also find uh, there are more than 127 new ransomware family. 10 most popular or most detailable ransomware, eight of them are related to the OT ICS network. So you can see it pretty much is unavoidable. Okay, the OT and ICS under ransomware is not going to stop. Okay, it's going to continue for sure. Okay, so um, in order to understand more about the inside, so Chen Michael, we conduct a survey. 
uh, last year with 500 responder. Okay, 200 in US, 150 in Germany, and 150 in Japan. Okay, it's kind of shocking result we see. Okay, it's around the 61 percent responder. They, they claim their manufacturer has encountered cyber attack before. So we seen the 61 percent. Around 75% of respondents mentioned that their production line has been stopped because of that incident. And around 43%, they say their production line has been stopped more than four days. And totally, 59% uh, respondents mentioned that the most challenge they are facing, they cannot find a suitable cybersecurity solution can apply in their environment. Okay, which means they cannot find adequate or the current IT security solution is not fit for them. That's pretty much about the like, current ICS cybersecurity overview. Okay, yeah. So then if we want to uh, get more understand about the colonial pipeline ransomware attack, uh, I think we can continue this one because this attack actually, actually it bring a lot of attention. Okay. So. Uh, right, Stephen. So, uh, so we heard a lot about the colonial pipelines uh, attack. Mm -hmm. So it was hit by ransomware and is a huge deal in the recent critical infrastructure, cyber attack, uh, the whole thing. Can you tell us more about this uh, incident background and 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 share a little more details on this yeah of course of course and why this case is so important um i think that's two reasons the first one is the critical infrastructure okay under attack a big deal and not just in us also entire world they were uh pay more attention okay they try to avoid similar attack that's the that's reason this kind of attack or this, this attack case I bring a lot of attention. The second reason is that I think they mess around the wrong people because the FBI and CIA they start step in the investigation. So a lot of media start to report this attack. So I'll give you some insight later. Okay. So um um before we talk about this case, we need to more understand about this company, Colonial Pipeline Company. They founded in 1961. Okay, the headquarter is based in uh, Alpharetta, Georgia, and they are largest refined of product uh, pipeline in U.S. Okay, they are responsible for the forty-five percent of the East Coast. Uh, also, their pipeline uh, is the, around eight thousand eight hundred fifty kilometer long, and will propagate and deliver a uh, hundred million. Gas uh, gallon per day. That's a pretty huge deal. Uh, most important is the uh, they respond not just responsible for the uh, refined pipeline uh, or gasoline, also including the uh, diesel oil, military oil. So they directly connect to the seven major airport, which means if the pipeline have something go wrong, it's going to impact the uh, United States government entire e economy. Also. Uh, uh, the military as well, okay? And their position, we, sometimes we call the midstream, okay? The midstream actually, they are responsible for those gasoline uh, uh, delivery. The measure of those gasoline is the deliver on time. So they build their own pipeline, uh, be able to propagate those the, uh, uh, gasoline to uh, to the customer, okay. You either use the transportation or truck, okay. They have their own tank. They also have their operating or region. They can do in that. The midstream, usually, um, based on our understanding, midstream company usually is not pretty obvious. You can see the instant case uh, if the midstream under attack. Normally, we will consider upstream and downstream. They will suffer cyber attack more. Okay, so Colonial Pipeline Company, how can they uh, uh, make sure the pipeline is safe? Actually, in their headquarters, they have like one control center. The control center monitor is 24 by 7. Okay, they have the uh, specific system 
uh, to prevent the pile, uh, the detect the uh, leakage. Okay, so they call it call the computation pipeline monitoring system. Uh, also, SCADA. They collect those the parameter are updated every four seconds. They can get the most update information. So everything is uh, doing automatically. Okay, they can uh, automatically shut down um, or also the fuel in the tank, stop the pump. Uh, actually, they can do it in the control center without a problem. They also have the um, on-call center for the uh, worker or construction company. If they want to dig something, uh, sometimes they need to uh, location, geographic information to avoid uh, the pipeline has been dig. Okay, make make the uh, gasoline leak. So they also have the uncle system. Inside the control center, they also have the simulation system allow the new employee be able to train uh, to be able to control the uh, system efficiently. Okay, on the right hand side you can see the, the picture. Uh, that's a, uh, actually it's real control center uh, picture. Okay. So uh, talking about this one, in their guideline, this principle is that no matter what happened, um, no matter it's pistol attack or cyber attack or some incident happened, they need to shut down their pipeline for sure, for safety reason, okay? So why is so important? Because for critical infrastructure, that's the, the pretty much the, the principle they need to follow, okay? Okay, this case, this case actually um, happened in May, just recently, May 7. Okay. Um, their system had been forced to shut down because of ransom. On the right hand side, you can see the ransom note. The ransom note just mentioned that, hey, you have your computer and server being encrypted. You should pay me, okay? Uh, because I already uh, upload your data to the uh, web. Okay. So if you not pay me, I'm going to uh, disclose those information. So May 9, okay, President Joe Biden declared the, declared the state of emergency, which means this is very significant, okay, this is a very serious deal, okay. And the dark side asked for how much? 4.4 million US dollars, okay, paid by Bitcoin. And they did pay it, okay. Colonial Pipeline Company, they did pay it. The CEO also uh, make an announcement. There's no way to avoid that. Um, also, they consider it's the right decision to pay for it. Okay, um, the impact for US, of course, not just the uh, uh, state emergency. Also, that also um, the uh, increase the, uh, the gasoline price jumped to the 3%. And the FBI started hunting that. Okay, they also confirmed it's that side uh, criminal group are doing that. Okay, so uh, based on our study and because of our three researchers, my master, they also uh, follow this case very closely. We highly, highly um, uh, think they probably use the fish mail. Okay, fish mail could be the uh, one the way to get inside. Okay. So uh, after this incident, I get a lot of attention. So they make a public announcement. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's kind of unusual for the uh, uh, cyber criminal to make a public announcement. They claim that, I, okay, um, nothing personal, okay? We are not political related. We are not religion related. We well, just want the money, okay? They make the announcement like that. And after that, uh, this is the announcement in their dark web website, okay? Um, after the, uh, the Colonial Pilot Company paid the money, I think they, the, their website also has been shut down. A lot of rumors say they are hunting by FBI. Their Bitcoin also been hijacked. We still try to dig out the, uh, the, the real situation, okay? And why does it matter? Again, we just try to say it again and again, it's a mystery. We did not see so many attacks happen in mystery, but US government, okay? Um, Transportation Security and Trade, TSA, they did announce the guideline to secure the pilot in 2018. That kind of guideline indicated there are two different kind of attack, physical attack and cyber attack. Uh, they also asked them to avoid this kind of attack. And colonial pipeline company attack actually could be the one lesson learned in the future for those critical infrastructure, especially for mainstream company. They are not, not they were also under the attack. They were picking on victim for sure. Okay. 
that's pretty much about this attack. Okay. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Stephen. Uh, that was quite some information. Yeah. So mm -hmm. thanks, thanks a lot. So uh, as a follow up question to that, uh, uh, would you provide some suggestions and mitigation plans for our audience and for organizations to avoid a similar kind of attacks or to detect them early? Yeah, yeah, sure. I think mitigation always is good uh, based on experience, right? I think colonial pilot attack will be the good lesson then uh, how can you avoid or try to prevent you cell become a victim okay so the mitigation actually are will consider um from two different way the first one you should follow this one uh, actually in the uh, CISA okay critical infrastructure security agency they do issue one recommendation okay for the pipeline a company like this okay in last year February on um, this guideline, actually, you can take a look because this specific address, the technic, uh, tactic procedure, okay, attack is very similar like this incident, okay. For example, they mentioned um, in order to penetrate the pipeline like, like this, sometimes uh, they were considered using the spec fish mail pretty efficiency from attacker point of view. Uh, of course, they will encrypt your data, like that's the cause of your some impact. Okay, loss of availability, loss of view, also loss of productivity and revenue. It all happened in colonial pipeline attack. Okay, it very identical. So mitigation suggests by CISA, uh, they will use the they call the risk based assessment. What does it mean? The risk based assessment. Okay, you can conduct the interview, survey, do the pen testing, or do the review. For uh, from data flow, control flow, or even the personnel, okay, then you can identify your weakness. Okay, that's from the assessment point of view. From technical and architectural recommendation, really recommend you should do the network recommendation between the IT and OT. Actually, we would recommend you do should do more about the OT micro recommendation to avoid this kind of attack, uh, especially over reduce the impact. Multi-factor authentication, I think it's very necessary, especially if you allow the remote desktop to be able to access your corporate network. You have to use this way to pre prevent the initial access, also lateral movement, okay? Of course, the regular data backup, that's for recovery. Uh, conduct the network traffic filter, that also increases the difficulty for lateral movement as well. Uh, for the endpoint and server, highly recommend to deploy the antivirus, anti-malware, because after all, the ransomware will, will target the data at the rest. Data at rest usually will be the, the endpoint and the server. Okay, you should implement the execution prevention. Here, I will highly recommend you should use the why this thing. Okay, why this thing will actually prevent that kind of unknown attack pretty efficiently. Also, they mean access to the resource over the network. That's the concept come from the zero trust. You just provide the uh, uh, least privilege. That kind of concept you should not just apply in the network, also should apply in an endpoint, also apply to personnel, okay? So if we look more further about the impact point of view, as I mentioned, the cyber criminal, cyber espionage, they will cause different kind of impact. Usually cyber criminal, uh, they were they want to get money. So ransomware is perfect for them to collect the money. So from OT world, actually they are more focused on critical application input. Okay. If we go down further, control system or intelligent device or field device, be honest, I did not see so many attacks happening here. Okay, but in the future it could be. And as long as the uh, IT OT convergence is still continue and still happen. For the cyber espionage, they have leveraged insider, they have leveraged the ransomware as well. Um, but after the standard, after the Triton, we did not see that kind of attack so often. Okay. So this chart is very important is talking about the recovery. If you are uh, you are uh, because if your server is at the disk there, you're under the ransom, under attack. Yes, it's high impact. Usually, could recover. Okay, you can recover pretty fast. If you the impact go down, 
it's going to do very slow recovery because you need to reboot not just machine, also your device, uh, also the uh, POC, also under the attack impact. And uh, about uh, the, the, the result, okay, for this one, usually is operation interval, but if the impact go down and further, it will impact the human life, also safety, okay? so. The first thing we, we will recommend, you should do the IT security properly before you do the OT, because uh, based on the attack, we understand usually come from IT part. And for OT part, then we will recommend you do this. You should go and protect the mission critical application server, especially for his historical server, SCADA system, HMI, and do the segmentation between the server and the control system. Uh, also, find a way to do the east-west traffic monitoring to prevent or increase the difficulty for lateral movement and also prevent misuse, okay? And how then I protect the control system endpoint? You can use the virtual patch. You can use different kind of solution to harden the, the, your endpoint. For the intelligent device, we will also consider doing the same way, but we will recommend you should do micro segmentation the micro segmentation, which means it can avoid the impact, uh, get huge. Okay. So, um, about the recommendation and best practice in terms of technology wise, I would say network segmentation. Network segmentation can reduce your impact, also in reduce your risk. Virtual patch, no matter for host base or network base, you can show your vulnerable device, try to. Uh, uh, prevent the attacker leverage the uh, vulnerability to penetrate or hijack your endpoint or penetrate you through the network. Do the trust list. The trust list you can use as a control or using whitelisting in the endpoint. Also can protect the system hardening. Okay, harden the critical asset. Identify what is the critical asset. Okay, for example, mission critical or if a server go down, enable to come continue to work, then you should consider either use the antivirus or anti-malware to protect it. And last one, but not the least, for your audit inspiration, okay, you should find a way to do the auditing or uh, no matter for inbound of our traffic or at our endpoint, you should have the one Google person be able to respond for the uh, periodic in inspection. So how about TS1 network? Okay, at TS1 network, we are a solution company. We do provide a solution to uh, fulfill the uh, CSR recommendation in terms of the technology, also architecture. We have a network defense because the age series, different form factor for OT environment. It allow you to do the network segmentation. Also, you can build your network trust list, okay? Because we support more than 50 different OT protocol. And we also have a virtual patch to show your vulnerable device, avoid those kind of vulnerability attacks. For the endpoint, we have the uh, Stata series. We have two different products specifically designed for the ICS endpoint, for legacy system, also for the modern life system. So the legacy system using the widest technique for the uh, modern life uh, system, okay, we will use the uh, next generation uh, antivirus. That's an industrial grade uh, uh, engine built inside, okay. So that's pretty much the recommendation I can provide from a TS1 network and also to Michael's point of view, okay. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, Stephen. Uh, uh, that was uh, indeed uh, a great. So uh, we have got some questions. We'll get into the question answer phase right now. We have four minutes. Let's see how many questions we can take. So the first question is, what are the urgent cybersecurity issues as a result of digital transformation? and how are they affecting the CI's resilience? Okay, okay, that's a very good question. Okay, so usually when we consider uh, digital transformation, we consider there are three phases. Okay, the first phase that we call the engineer operate, which I mean you are using computer or but, but highly labor intensive, that kind of manufacture still a lot. The second phase is to try to upgrade. We call it a hybrid. You're going to purchase or put more um, uh, uh, advanced computer endpoint installer environment. But that kind of result is you're going to have a mixture environment. You need to 
manage it and control it. Okay. The third one is the compilation. Compilation is fully automated. We can see that like a semiconductor or the automobile industry, actually they using the uh, computer to do the a lot of replace a lot of the labor intensive work. Um, I would consider the critical infrastructure is around phase two or phase three, okay. Uh, it's a hybrid, which means you need to have the uh, a way be able to manage those mutual environment. So uh, my recommendation is the, you should do the network uh, segmentation. Also use a virtual patch to protect your legacy system. Furthermore, furthermore, you should build up the uh, zero trust network. Okay, I know zero trust network is difficult, but that's a way you can do it. And that is you can reduce the uh, uh, the privilege. Okay, uh, don't provide too good um, the the too much power to the uh, your personnel or employee. Okay, limit the access level, which means it's going to reduce a lot of impact. Okay, that's my answer. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So we have another question out there. And so the question is, how are you making sure that OT security is part of that corporate discussion? Okay. Um, for OT solution partner like this, uh, like us, okay. Uh, actually, we can see there are three reasons. Uh, the OT cybersecurity will be part of the uh, corporate uh, conversation. Is it not avoidable? The first one, of course, uh, digital transformation, okay? So OT will use a lot of new technology for IT for sure. The second one is the OT cybersecurity is not ready to under this attack because the, uh, the current available solution using IT uh, technology, but IT technology, actually it's not good for the OT environment because the culture wise is totally different. And uh, the third one is that hacker know it. Hacker know OT is vulnerable. The vulnerable so they, they be able to attack um, the OT environment without a problem. So we do see this kind of topic will continue. It's not going to stop, okay. Thanks, Thank you. thanks, thanks a lot, Stephen. I do not think we have time for more questions. Uh, thank you. You, we would like to take all your inputs and questions from the uh, panel chat that we have and we'll get back to you. Uh, we would love to get your feedback. So you can uh, scan this QR code and, and put in your feedback and you get a chance of spinning a Xiaomi portable massage device. I would write, really like to thank our audience uh, for joining, for taking our time and I wish you a very safe uh, a week uh, and and, and would wish that everybody stayed safe in these troubled times. I would really like to go ahead and thank our panelists, Stephen and Mars, uh, for this wonderful, uh, insightful discussion. On that note, I leave you on the screen so that you can go ahead and uh, give your feedback. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Okay. Thank you, everyone, too.